Hello everyone. In this unit, we are going to study controlling module of SAP ERP. We have already studied what is SAP FI, so we will start with the FICO difference. Then we will dive deep into the controlling module architecture. We will see cost centers as master data for CO, internal orders, yet another cost object in controlling module. And finally, profitability analysis or how it is done in controlling module. Financial management is all about accounting standards such as IAS, GAAP. It has got statutory requirements. There are standards and requirements which are legal in nature and hence there is very less flexibility when it comes to reporting in FI. Whereas if you look at management accounting which is covered through CO, we have a lot of flexibility because the formats can be company specific. Also there are no legal requirements of publishing the reports in a specific format and hence we can derive the reports at any intervals and using any numbers that we want to interpret. The architecture of controlling consists of five elements. The first is cost element accounting which allows data to pass from FI to CO. Product cost accounting which takes care of the production processes and its cost controlling. Overhead cost controlling takes care of all the indirect costs and how much are budgeted, how much are actual and why the differences. Profitability analysis is the next unit which tells you how profitable is one segment or one division. And finally, there is profit center accounting also which means that we are going to define certain profit centers and allocate certain revenues which will be then called as profits. Go through this slide to see which all are the elements we discussed in the previous slide and which questions are answered through these controlling module units. Cost center is basically the accumulation of all the costs. Expenses that happen in FI are directly called as costs in controlling module. Also there are some costs that incur internally and all these costs are stored in an object called as cost centers. Now let us see what is internal order and its difference with cost centers. Internal orders are the temporary storage of costs. Internal orders are of four different types. If you are storing costs temporarily which are overhead costs, the type is called as overhead internal orders. When you are constructing a building or buying an asset, then that cost is contained in investment order. If you have certain accruals to be then paid, for example, you have decided to give bonus or you are giving some interest to your customers or to your uh, business partners, then you will use accrual orders to store all the accruals temporarily. And there are orders with revenues. In certain cases, the costs do incur, but there is some revenue also along with it. And in this manner, we can use internal orders to store both revenues and costs simultaneously. The difference is that internal orders are temporary in nature, whereas cost centers are permanent in nature. Internal order costs need to be distributed whereas cost centers need not be distributed further to any other cost centers. And finally 
we come to profitability analysis actually there are two objectives of controlling module the first is controlling costs and second is analyzing profits when you analyze profits you may want to look at how profitable is my division that is a product line how profitable is a geographical region such as how profitable is middle east compared to north america and etc you may also like to see the profitability with respect to area of operation for example the ceo in uh, europe how is this position profitable compared to ceo in uh, asia pacific region so you want to do profitability analysis with respect to various parameters and those reports can be drawn using sap co